اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الرحمن علم القرآن جیسے کہ آپ لوگوں کو معلوم ہے کہ ابھی میں نے شارٹ کیسز کا سلسلہ شروع کیا ہوا ہے تو شارٹ کیس شروع کرنے سے پہلے ایک اچھی بات اس پرسسٹنس یاد رکھیں کہ وی ہیو ٹو ورک پرسسٹنٹلی ٹو اچیو یور گول نو میٹر ہاؤ ہارڈ اٹ لوکس بٹ آپ دیکھیں اندھیرے کے بعد روشنی ضرور آئے گی آج کے شارٹ کے اس کا ٹاپک ہے فیشیل پالیسی فیشیل پالیسی پہ یو گیٹ کمانڈ دیٹ دس چائلڈ از ہیونگ ویکنیس آف فیس پلیز ایگزامن دا فیس اینڈ ریلیونٹ اور دا کمانڈ ول بی ڈو دا جی پی ای اینڈ ریلیونٹ ایز آل آلویز فار آل شارٹ کیسز دا انٹروڈکشن کنسینٹ ایکسپوجر اینڈ ہینڈ سینیٹائزیشنس دین یو آس دا نیم of the child to check the speech and see whether the child is having dysphasia suggestive of stroke then you see the general look whether the child is sick or well looking cyanosis or respiratory distress at rest is pallor or jaundice is nutritional status of the child there is any diagnostic or dysmorphic features and make an inspection on that the child is cyanotic or asyanotic or whether the child is in heart failure tachypnea There are three maneuvers that you have to do, like you ask the child to frown, do in front of the child so that they can follow you, close your eyes tightly, fill your cheeks with air, show your teeth. And these maneuvers are done to determine whether the facial weakness is unilateral or bilateral. Whether the facial weakness is of upper motor neuron type in which the upper face will be spared or lower motor neuron type in which both upper and lower face of one side will be affected and you check the eighth nerve hearing and autoscope for vesicles in the ear for rouse hand syndrome hearing you can check by talking to the child to see whether he responds or not then eye movements you have to do the h shape lateral rectus all the muscles like you know are supplied by lateral rectus except so four and lr6 in the fifth nerve is you check by tell the child open the mouth and you force the child force to close it the ninth and tenth nerves are checked by asking the child to make an ah sound to see the uvula you should know the interpretation whether it moves to the weak side or the strong side ninth and tenth palsy the uvula is pulled by the strong side so it will move towards the strong side then twelfth nerve protrude tongue out This will tell us, tell us about the 12th nerve. Then you handshake for myotonia. You can check blood pressure if time allows for hypertension which is suggestive of brainstem glioma. Do the chest auscultation for aspiration pneumonia. Then gait, ataxia and brainstem glioma. If there are bilateral ptosis, then examine the motor system. You ask the child to squat. Sit and stand for proximal myopathy, then lower limbs and upper limbs, tone, bulk, power and reflexes with planters. Ask for the height and weight and plot them on centile charts. I have made a hypothetical description. You can make your own, but do remember, practice this because in exam you need to be in having an automated or automation phase. So that is a hypothetical description. I have examined six-year-old Johnny, who is thin, lean boy, well-looking child. He was conscious and cooperative during my examination, without any respiratory distress or cyanosis at rest, and there were no dysmorphic or diagnostic facies. The child has facial deviation towards right side, and there is flattening of nasolabial fold on left side. and the child was unable to close eyes with absence of frowning there is no ptosis rash in ear and all accessible cranial nerves are intact his blood pressure is 90 by 60 mm of mercury and motor system gait and speech are normal so based on my examination the differentials are the facial palsy facial palsy have to determine whether apple it's a unilateral or bilateral determine whether it is upper motor neuron type lesion or lower motor neuron type lesion like explained before so. then you have to 
The speech will tell you whether there is a dysphasia, manifestation of stroke or dysarthria, myotonic dystrophy. If there is bilateral lower motor neuron lesion with ptosis, then myasthenia gravis, myotonic dystrophy will be the differential. So you must check for myotonia. If there is bilateral lower motor neuron lesion without ptosis, then it can be due to GBS, the Miller-Fisher variant. If there is a bilateral upper motor neuron type of lesion, then you must keep differential of cerebral palsy. If there is unilateral upper motor neuron lesion, then stroke must be considered in differential. Ptosis is present in myotubular myopathy. Now coming to the Bell's palsy, it has multiple causes such as infections in which the viral such as herpes simplex, varicella, Epstein-Barr virus, CMV and mumps, bacterial otitis media with spirit disposing organisms, mycoplasma, tumor, trauma, GBS, drugs such as interferon and ribavirin. Then a little word on the Mulkerson rosenthal syndrome. This is a non-caseating granuloma in which there will be facial lips and swelling. Alternative recurrent seventh nerve palsy. Remember it is a recurrent. Family history of headache and migraine. The treatment of the Bell's palsy is the prednisolone 1 mg per kg for one week and then taper over one week or start within three to five days of illness. Oral cyclovir for immunocompromised. Physiotherapy, surgical decompression, and methyl cellulose eye drops or an ocular lubricant and eye bandage at night to prevent exposure keratitis. Remember, respected candidates, that you must uh, look the latest guidelines for the treatment of Bell's palsy and you can update or improve it. If there's any change, you must let me know. Prognosis of Bell's palsy 85% recover within a few weeks, 10% there is mild weakness and 5% is a permanent defect. If the child don't recover within few weeks, 2 NCS of the facial nerve to suspect facial nerve schwannoma or infiltration by leukemic cells. What are the indications of CT scan in facial palsy? If there are any focal signs, there is no recovery in one month and tumor is suspected. So this was about the facial palsy. Thank you very much uh, for uh, your patient listening. And uh, do give me your feedback and I pray that may Allah be your helper, protector and guide. Best wishes. Allah Hafiz.